My name is Michelangelo, and this is my current work of art. I am carefully painting all the colors. Express your spirituality. How do you feel this brings you closer to God? Why do you express your spirituality this way? I am Roman Catholic, portraying God's word in a way that is more communicative and interesting for some means that more people hear about the word of God, and this is what I want from it. I find that the scenes I paint are those that others find hard to communicate through word, and this reaches out to more people, and by spreading God's word, I feel I am doing my bit as his disciple. For I feel he who does not use his gift for his own talent is he who is closest to God. And however rich I may have been, I have always lived like a poor man. What do you gain from this? I find that the vibrant colors that I paint with uh, can show much more than the picture itself. Emotions, feelings, and also what the scene is about. I enjoy my work. It is my talent that God gave me, and I use it to the best of my ability. But not only for my personal gain, but to give something back to the Creator that provided me with it. This satisfies me that I am playing my part in the church, and this is all that I gain. Does your activity benefit others? As I mentioned before, some of the people around me find it hard to communicate with God through his written word. Maybe because they are not as well educated as myself and cannot read them. But maybe because they are more abstract thinkers and my paintings can help them to see the word of God in a different light and draw them closer to God. Which your activities see every Christian? Some people do not approve of my paintings because they say they are too elaborate and that the word of God should stay in the context it is written in. Also, they don't like seeing naked people. Some of Michelangelo's most famous works include The Statue of David, The Last Judgment, Pieta in St. Peter's, Madonna of the Stairs, as well as the creation story told through seven paintings in the Sistine Chapel along with other biblical stories.